Hey guys, Doc. Man, it is gonna be warm today. And because it's warm today, it's a good time for me to finally do this video that you guys have been asking for, which is how do I treat and how do I solve the stink bug and ladybug problem? I'll go over that, a few other things, so hold on. Hey guys, man, whew, it is gonna be 72 or 74 today. We're gonna to get up. We had some rain last night, but this is a time of year where we're gonna to start to see some stink bugs showing up inside the house. So I'm gonna go over the life cycles. I'm gonna go over the products I use to kill them and when I use these products. There are different times you're gonna do this. I'll cover maybe a couple, not myths, but misunderstandings about them. We'll go over that too. Now I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but we've got a new channel coming out. Uh, a lot of you guys know this house behind us was abandoned. We took it down to two by fours. We spent an entire year rebuilding the house, rebuilding the property. And now that that's done, I've spent the past several months sort of getting to the point where I could say, okay, if I close my gates, could I live out here, shut off from society for an entire year? So what do I have for security? What do I have for food storage? What do I have for gardens? And a lot of you guys are asking about that. What do I have for backup power? Do I have solar? There's some really cool stuff coming out. But rather than junk up this channel, I figured I'd go ahead and put all that on a new channel. So make sure you're subscribed. And I think probably next month, I'll go ahead and launch that and we'll talk about all that stuff. All right, let's go on to stink bugs. Okay, stink bugs. The brown marmorated stink bug is what most people are dealing with. And you can tell them by the little sort of spots on their back and spots on their antennas. They really weren't present here until the 1990s sometime. And I think they showed up first in Pennsylvania and they came in from uh, the east. Uh, I don't know if they came in from China. They came in from somewhere and they just showed up. But now all of a sudden they're everywhere. They're spreading everywhere. It is a nuisance pest. And yes, they can damage crops. They can do a whole bunch of stuff and they have spread everywhere. Matter of fact, I'm not seeing any other stink bugs except brown marmorated here, brown marmorated stink bugs here. So, Here's understand the life cycle. Now let's start in winter time so you understand what's happening right now. In the winter time, stink bugs are drawn to, they're drawn not necessarily to light in the fall. That's kind of a myth. They really don't go towards light. They go towards light in the spring when they're breeding. They really go towards areas that are gonna keep them warm. They're looking for shelter. So you'll see them on the side of the house and they always sort of go climbing up. Stink bugs will always climb up until they hit a point and then they'll try and find a place to access and hide. I got a funny story for you that about that in my shed. So I can see them on my house in, uh, in the fall when it starts to get cold, I'll see them. Uh, they actually wanna go on trees, they hide inside trees to hide inside dead wood, but they really target these buildings. That's where they really wanna go up and hide. Again, you'll see them on the side, they'll start climbing up. So at that point in time, what I've been doing, after a lot of research, is I use a product with bifenthrin in it, and I've been using, it's actually not horribly expensive. This is Talic, I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the description below, I'll build a page. On that page, I'll link to all the stuff I'm talking about. I use this, uh, bifenthrin, and I put it in a sprayer, and what I do is I go around and I spray not only around the bottom of the house and all those beds, but on the eaves of the house. So up on these eaves, that's where they're going to try and go into. They're going to try and access your little attic area up here. So you have to be careful. You've got to wear a mask. I wear an N95 mask. I wear goggles, I wear long sleeves because you're going to be spraying. I've got an electric sprayer and I put it on a stream and I spray that area and some of that stuff's going to fall down when you spray it. So you do have to be careful when I'm treating that, but you treat the areas that they're gonna to go to, which are typically those eaves, that's what they're gonna target. The next thing I did was I set off some bombs. Now this is same thing, this is um, a bifenthrin, bifenthrin bomb. I'll put a link to this. Now this is what they call 100% dispersible. This is a very fine mist and 100% of the can goes out. This is not a cheap product. This is not like a Raid or Black Flag, flag Fogger, but I do use those. You put that up there, you go up in your crawl space, you set it off, you close it, leave it, you know, um, and that's what you're gonna do. So that's how I battle them. And I haven't seen any stink bugs on that main side of the house. However, I didn't treat the smaller side of the house. <laughs> I didn't treat the smaller side of the house, which is the master bedroom. And guess what? I'm starting to see probably one a day, I'm starting to see a stink bug show up inside the house. Why is that? It's because of these warmer temperatures. So they are hiding deep inside little areas trying to get warmth. When this temperature starts to get up, i.e. 70 degrees, 
the attic gets up, the attic's gonna be hot, it's gonna be up to 80 degrees. In their mind, they're thinking spring, 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 and they're gonna to wanna to try and get back out. And that's how they end up coming back down the house. So what I want you to do this time of year, when we're talking about we're leaving winter, getting into fall, you have some warmer days, I want you to wait until a warm day. Today is gonna to be 72 degrees. That means up there is gonna be close to 80 degrees. Wait till the middle of the afternoon. In the middle of the afternoon, when they feel like they're gonna to wanna to come out and active, that's when you wanna hit them with this bomb. Um, I may actually set off this one and one of those, I think I have an extra raid bomb up there too. I'm gonna to hit them with both because I'm tired of hearing the wife scream. So I'm gonna hit them with both up in that other section up there. So that's what you do this time of year to kill them off. Now, in the spring, if you wanted to, they're really not a problem in the house in the spring, but in the spring when it comes mating season, that's when they're attracted to light. So I did a test several months ago out here in the fall, and I put up a big lantern, a big white lantern at night. Um, I treated it with a bifenthrin, I put pan below it. I didn't get any stink bugs. Then I took this yellow sticky paper then, so I tried wrapping it with this yellow ticked uh, fly paper, which is great for farad flies and fruit, fruit flies, by the way. And I wrapped that around the light, left it on all night, all eight afternoon, everything. Guess what? Not a single stink bug. So in the fall, they're really not attracted to light that much. They're really just seeking warmth. Sorry, I'm looking for dog poo. <laughs> so let me talk about, so let me talk about not necessarily miss, but let's just talk about a few other subjects. Number one, a lot of people are going to say, take a spray bottle full of water, put a squirt about a tablespoon or two or Dawn in there, and then just spray them and they will die. That's true. So if you see a stink bug, take that bottle, squirt it, cover it. You're basically suffocating them and it, they die fast. I'm talking within one to two minutes, they'll be dead. That doesn't solve the problem of them being upstairs alive, upstairs in your attic, and then coming down and having to deal with them all the time. You have to go one by one, you have to fully coat them, and yes, they will die. Let's talk about natural oils or organic methods. Same thing. When you use a product like Bifenthrin, when they come in contact with it, they're going to later die. It's a contact product. They just have to come in contact with it. When you use something like a neem oil or something like that, typically they have to ingest it. A lot of those products actually mess with their digestive systems and they starve to death. So they have to actually eat it. That's why you put it on things like fruit and produce and foliage. So those products are not necessarily effective um, when you just like try and spray an area with it. It's not going to work that well. Again, the Fenthrin has been proven again and again, study and study to be very effective on them. Uh, natural products, again, in some way, you either have to totally coat that, that bug or they have to ingest it. So I'm just telling you, a lot of people say take a dryer cloth and wipe it around the windows in the fall and that'll, that'll erase the, uh, you know, th that hormone or whatever that they put out that attracts other, other stink bugs. I guess so, man. If you want to try that, go right ahead. It's just completely ineffective in, in the thought, whole thought process of this. The best way to deal with these stink bugs is to actually kill them with a contact product. So as they're climbing, as they're climbing up this house, I want to spray an area that's like two feet all the way across as they're going up. And then I also want to treat these ridges up here, these vents. That's where they're going to go into. And I see them on here all the time. Now, a lot of people say they're going to be on this side of the house. They're going to be on the west side of the house, the south side. I have not found that to be true. Um, a lot of people say they're going to be on the easterly side or the southerly side. I see them all around in different spots. It's just sort of where they see a structure, they go up, they land, and they start crawling up. So you have to treat the whole outside of the house. Um, I'm not so sure that treating down below on the house is that effective simply because they do want to burrow, they will burrow down in here, but they really, in nature, they actually go and they'll hide inside these trees. By the way, they love magnolia trees. You'll see a ton of stink bugs on magnolia trees. So if you have a magnolia trees or have a bunch of them, you can actually go up in the fall and you can actually spray the, the magnolia tree and treat the magnolia tree. Um, what else? Or any other little myths or misconceptions that I can think about. That's pretty much it. There are a lot of light traps that people do, and the light traps are okay if they're inside a really dark area, because the stink bugs think, and, and a lot of it has to do with heat, think that it's going to be warm, so they're going to go over there. But again, there's been several studies out there that shows that light 
is fairly ineffective in the fall. It's more so effective in the spring. And what we're trying to deal with right now is we're trying to deal with those bugs that have been hiding and coming down. All right, so here's a little funny story for you. Over in my storage shed over here, I have a shotgun and I have a shotgun inside of a sleeve and the end of that sleeve is open. I forget what I was doing. I was went to go get my shotgun out and I pulled it out of the sleeve and inside the chamber of that gun was a stink bug. I mean, that's how far. They're going to keep going and keep going. They're going to keep crawling down. They're going to keep hiding. That's why I say the time to treat them this time of year is when it's warm. They're going to stay hidden in all those cracks and crevices until they feel like, hey, this is really getting hot up here and they're going to start to come out and be active. That's when you want to treat. So don't do it in the morning. Wait till, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon and then hit that bomb off. So that's about it, guys. Hope the video helped. I've been promising to do this for a while. Now I finally got it out. Again, I'll link to the stuff down below. Hit that like button if this has helped. That really helps out our channel. And don't forget, subscribe so you don't miss that new channel. It's going to be kind of fun. We'll do some cool stuff. Doc.